find me every Monday evening at 4 o'clock Pacific, 7 o'clock Eastern to get support, to get your questions answered, and to learn about the new features of this exciting program called the Genius Insight. As many of you know, I've taught about portable bioresonance apps for almost four years now. And so I'm glad to bring my expertise and my experience to the genius. It is the most innovative and imaginative program available today in terms of a bioresonance program that is incredibly portable and has such dynamic uses. So, first of all, the control panel. You can send me any of your questions on the control panel. If you have a case, if you have someone you want me to look at, you could send me their name and their date of birth as long as you have permission to do so, or you could just generally describe them and we can try to work on them estimating their, their, their date of birth or something. We can do uh, lots of different things here and we won't show any of their personal information. Now, first, first things first, um, again, this is Dr. Ariel Policano. I'm a naturopathic doctor in Portland, Oregon. I use the Genius in my practice. It is a very important tool. Having at least one bioresonance tool in your pocket for healing or even for personal use is very important today because bioresonance can help you to tap into things that you normally can't tell just from your conscious mind and your cognitive knowledge. Uh, bioresonance provides solutions that are better than any other solutions that are out there because we do it energetically. Sometimes we don't always get the best quality supplement or we don't know what's going to happen as a result of using a supplement. So bioresonance is very, very important and many, many people are going to want to have this as one of the tools that they use in their practice and for their family. So it's a really, it's a really an amazing thing. So we're lucky to have the genius. Thank you for those of you who have tuned in today to get your questions answered or to just hear about more about some of the um, features on the genius. First of all, I want to let you know you should be on version 1.9.1. 1.9.1. 1. So if you're not on version 1.9.1, 1, you should make sure that your genius is up, updated. You will be getting much more, up, much more updates as we go forward and Ryan makes refinements to the program which he is very much in the process of doing. And that is very exciting. Um, it's really exciting to see what he's coming up with. It's exciting to be a part of it. Um, and uh, anything that you have that you want to suggest about the program, you can let us know. So if you have a suggestion, something that you'd like us to consider, go ahead and send me an email, ariel at awakentotalhealth.com, and I'm happy to talk about it with Ryan and bring that to him. So that's another thing. Today on the call, I'm going to be talking about what synergistics is. What is synergistics? This is similar to biocompatibility. And I'm going to be talking about the MEP, the multi-element phase part, and where to find those things. So we're going to be talking about that today. Okay, let's go through some of your questions, and some of you might recognize those questions or um, have similar comments. And um, I don't think, I'm not sure Ryan is on the call today, so let me just take a quick check here. And uh, Ryan is not able to join us today, but I'll certainly communicate all of the information um, to him that we talk about today. So first thing is Norma uh, says, a lot of zeros are coming up. Is this normal for the genius? Norma, Ryan has said to me that this is a result of the voice frequency recording and what I've told him is we need to do something about about this issue with the zero. So I would say I would also send him some feedback um, and you can get to Ryan at rw at quantumhealthapps.com. Okay, so go ahead and tell him that and all of you who are experiencing this that there are many zeros coming up at the bottom of your testing and I thought it was just in the full matrix testing but it looks like it's in more than that. 
So just send it to him and ask him to explain it. I think we need to adjust the algorithm, but he's the programmer, so I'd like him to speak to that. So thank you for asking that. Patricia, how do you activate the 3D? You should have gotten two activation codes if you want the 3D. I am not a huge fan of the 3D graphics. If you love the 3D graphics and you had them in the other program, then we are giving that as part of the Quantum Infinity upgrade. So you can get that 3D activation. You should have gotten a code. The code would have said video activation key. If you didn't get the video activation key, Patricia, then you need to email, um, just email me and I will help you with that. But it was included with the Infinity um, offer. Fundamental question, how do you distinguish between male and female? Um, that's all defined in the resonance. So the bioresonance, um, you know, when you go into some of the other programs, uh, the other $15,000 programs and so forth, I think they have a key there that may be male or female. And sometimes it has to do with the testing matrix. So some of those bioresonance programs have testing matrices that are simply for all of the male genitalia and all versus all the female genitalia. We don't have that. And so the resonances here are just through the pure energetic resonance for that person. And to that end, we don't have a lot of anatomical checks on the screen. So we don't really have, I think there is like a testes and, and prostate issues and so forth, but we don't have a lot of those. So it's not really necessary to distinguish. I mean, bioresonance is universal mind. I mean, the universal mind understands about what the gender is. It doesn't need to take that certainly into account for the program to work properly. Um, but it's a good question, and Martin, thank you for that question. And um, Patricia says, how do we know if the MEP is working? I liked it when we showed it going back and forth between the two trays. Um, that's another Ryan comment, and it's certainly something that um, I have said to him too, that we'd like to see that actually um, in the beginning, in the setup. So in the front menu, and I would send him that feedback. So when you're actually testing, you can actually see the MEP functioning. But it is functioning, um, and I'm going to show the MEP, but send him that feedback. You know, not everything is finalized in terms of the you know, that it can't be changed. And we certainly want to hear about that from you. But we are getting great results with what we have. Okay. So let's continue here. My panels have converted um, to, I understand, Eli, let me tell you something about the panels. Ryan has sent a, a spent a lot of time actually working on the algorithm and the programming to convert your infinity panels to um, the genius. And actually, he's gotten it right. So if you had actually imported last week or in the last maybe three or four days, you need to go back and delete everything and do the process again. So now I've actually done this myself. All of your panels will import in the exact order that they're supposed to where you can test them in the exact order. So this has happened with version 1.9.1. Thanks, Eli, for that question. OK, Elise says, Elise, thank you for joining us. And thanks, everybody. We've got a great crowd here today. And I, I love all of the participation. So keep shooting me your questions. They're awesome. I want to mention some other upgrades that Ryan has prepared for us. So I'm just going to pull up a random um, client here, which we'll just use our AAA, okay, and just start new analysis. What Ryan has now done is you can actually skip the voice recording. Why would you want to skip the voice recording? Suppose you're just importing panels, or you're just, for whatever reason, or suppose you have a baby, or suppose you have a dog or a cat. So now you have the ability to skip the voice recording. So that's really convenient. You just use the function here, skip. This has come in in version 1.9.1. But then it would automatically skip the photo section. Well, what if you have a dog or a cat and you want to use the picture of the dog or the cat or whoever it is, but you don't have their voice? So now you have the ability to go ahead and um, use a picture 
or you can skip both of them by pushing the skip here. And now we get right inside the program. So fantastic that we're able to do that. So oh, let's just do this beginning analysis here. So Elise says, uh, thanks for having the calls. I really like your YouTube videos, especially the five minute overview of the neuro remedy. I wanted to hear more about the MEP, which is perfect. You're right in alignment there. Synergistics and response assessment. Yeah, that's perfect. I didn't know if we'd have time for response assessment. I am working on videos about those functions, but certainly we're going to talk about MEP and synergistics. You said we should delete the program before installing new up updates. I actually didn't say that, Patricia. You can now just install your update program. That was something Ryan was saying before. So now that we're away from beta testing, when you receive an upgrade, or I should say an update, all you need to do is just hit that button that says update, and then it will overwrite the updates over the Genius program. So let me say it again. You no longer need to delete the whole program unless Ryan tells you for, for some specific reason. Just hit the update and install, and all of your panels and all of your data will still be there. I haven't gotten any app or any activation code. So Janet, what you will need is um, to complete the link that I sent to you at, unless you want to download the trial first. If you want to download the trial first, you'll need to ask for a link. Um, so it's not going to just probably land on your desk automatically or on your computer, but if you send me a request for the link for the trial, I'll be happy to send you before this call got started, I actually answered your email and I did actually send you the link for the um, $99 offer. So whatever you need that you don't have, please email me. That's the only way I can know about it. Okay, so I asked this because um, getting ovaries to show up for the mail. Okay, so Martin, excellent question. So the, when you get ovaries to show up for a male or you get testes to show up for a female, um, the simple interpretation of that is that the estrogen balance is very likely out of balance for a male, and for women, their testosterone is out of balance for female. So good, good question. These are really um, excellent, excellent questions. Where do you find the active version? By the way, I'm still using the 15-day trial version. Maybe that's the problem. I can't find the version number. The 15-day version is the complete, Ryan has always given the complete and full version, despite the fact that it seems to create more problems and solutions to everybody for 15 days. So you will also get the upgrades automatically, Robert. If you haven't seen that, then maybe you need to make sure you're connected to the internet to get that. Um, but for the full version, all you have to do is complete the link that I send to you that says $99 upgrade. If you don't have the link, send me another email and I will get that link to you. Uh, I have a rabbit and a tortoise. How do I properly use the genius on my pets? Um, to properly use the genius on your pets, you do a couple, couple of different tips here that are um, really kind of interesting. So, Martin's rabbit. What you always do is that you just basically um, estimate their date of birth. So if your rabbit is two years old, you just get that you know date of birth somewhere back in uh, 2014. You may even know their date of birth. And then whatever they're experiencing, you just put in um, the wellness markers. So I don't know what your rabbit is experiencing here, maybe digestive issues. And anything else that you think, maybe anxiety, being a rabbit, and then begin. All right, so then what you can do is you can skip the voice, but you can also do something, and I've tested this and it does work. This is really about intention, and bioresonance is really a lot about intention, you guys. So here we um, just record the voice. If you just say, you know, it is my intention to speak as the surrogate frequency for my rabbit, uh, Clive, or whatever your rabbit's name is, it is my intention, I'm speaking as the surrogate frequency for my beloved rabbit, whatever it is. And, and that's it. And then very 
you could also just skip this, but I, I like the idea of using a surrogate. It's, it's quite effective because you are connected to that animal or the companion animal or the infant or whatever it might be. So then complete and then very simply take a photo and you're going to find that this is quite an effective way to work with any of your deer companion animals. I love the idea of having a tortoise. I was um, walking my dog once and somebody actually had their huge, I don't know what these are called, but a big, big tortoise that just walked around the property and walked around the neighborhood all on its own. I looked at that and I said, I think I want that someday. I don't know how big your tortoise is. When offline, do you not have any client records or library access? Eli, you do not. That is there is a mixed benefit here, okay? And I was trying to get Ryan to clarify before the call, but I could not reach him exactly what functions you can use online and which functions you can use you can use offline. And I just was not able to get in touch with him. But what I gather is you cannot um, b basically back up your program and save a session. You can't do upgrades. I don't know about actually accessing a client record because you should be able to do that without having needing internet access. So I really need to get Ryan's perspective on this. But the good news is that because most people are connected now to the internet the majority of the time, the good news is, I mean, you can look at every past session. Um, so you can save an enormous amount of data that we're just putting, you know, backing up to the cloud right now. So there's a, and you can easily import and export files. Like it's so much easier. You just need someone's email. And so I can now send you um, all of these panels and we don't have to do the Dropbox and the 16 digit code and all of these things. So those are the advantages. And um, we're still just trying to figure out when you can use this offline and hopefully we'll have that information for you soon. Hey Bambi, so good to have you on today and welcome to everyone joining us from around the country and around the world this evening. If um, I, there's no pick and no voice analysis, what is the program assessing to determine frequencies? Okay, so don't misunderstand me. It's always better to have voice and picture. The voice is the biggest part of the algorithm that does assessment. And in fact, our particular algorithm here listens to the frequencies several different times. It says, I want to listen to that, and then I want to listen to it again, and then I want to listen to it again. I want to get the frequency of the voice correct. It uses the main ingredient to compare to other frequencies so that you can get your numbers for the program. So the numbers are meaningful. So I really don't recommend going without the voice. And in fact, unless you're talking about a dog or a cat, which you can pick up a ton of, ener of energetic information from the picture, there is no reason that you should not be able to get a voice um, signature or a voice uh, recording, basically. Now, if they have to leave it on your voicemail on your phone and you play your phone in front of that voice recording or if they do it live on Skype or if they do it on the phone or if they do it there in person, there's no excuse, if, you have, if I may be so strong, not to get a voice recording. So that's really, really important. The reason that you can get your quantum infinity or your genius to work when there is no voice or picture is because of the algorithms that are coded in there that have to do with the Schumann resonance. So in fact, through someone's name and date of birth, we can in fact tune into their energy field. But the much more precise way to do this for the technology that we have today is to really use the voice as the focal point and then the name and the date of birth are added ingredients and then the picture is sort of also another piece but not as important as the voice. For my cat, says Dana, I get them to purr and the sound is the loudest it can go but it takes time I've gotten their purring on the voice. Yeah, Dana, that's a really great idea. Sure, purring from a cat is fantastic. Okay, 
question under electric, electrical sensitivities. What are metallic implants used for? Now I'm going to have to get the word from Ryan on this, but I believe he's talking about if you have a pin put in, um, like a titanium pin or something, I believe that's what he's referring to as far as an implant. If you broke a leg and so forth and the break was so serious that you needed to put in a metallic implant. When I'm away from Wi-Fi, it shuts off and shuts me out. So Ginger, again, I'm trying to get information on this from Ryan, but I think most people are concurring here that we just simply don't have any access. If there's anybody on here who's been able to get any type of access offline, then certainly let me know. But at this point, I think we have sort of an agreement that people are not able to use their program offline. So let me know. Is a two-year-old voice recording of a client better than no voice recording? Robert, they could be saying goo goo gaga, they could be saying anything. Nobody needs to say A-E-I-O-U, nobody needs to say an affirmation. They could be crying, okay, they could be laughing. All of those things are um, energetic information which can be quantified and which are absolutely perfect. So that's why you could get your cat purring or barking uh, for a dog, etc. And Georgina says, nanoparticulates, RE implants. You know, that's interesting, uh, Georgina. I don't think that Ryan thought that deeply about the nanoparticulates that we get from maybe the suspicious sprains in terms of metallic implants, although I agree at a very tiny level those could be metallic implants. I will have to check with him, but I don't think that was his intention. I think it was more of much more of a mundane surgical issue. Patricia says, for the neuro remedy, do you know of a great heartbeat to use? <laughs> no, I don't. Uh, you know, you find there's so many things that you could find online if somebody knows of a great heartbeat to use. But I would just, I probably would look on YouTube and I would um, experiment with some different things on YouTube and see if I can find something there. Good question, though. In balancing, are we to balance the same numbers as in the quantum 650 and 100 and under? Suzanne, good question. I like that question. Um, actually, it is the same and we're doing 650 and over and 150 and under. And in some cases, 600 and over because if you look at the different lines we discovered last time, they're defined between the yellow and the red at about 600, oh, I think over 599. So the red really starts at 600, so you could consider it to be sort of 600 or 650. Now a lot of this, these things vary from client to client. I mean, some people have very suppressed systems, um, so they're really going to be a lot more in the low numbers and you may want to look at the 600. Some people have a better um, vital force and you really want to go with those high numbers. If there's anybody who's still using the 15-day um, program, then best to get in touch with me and I can get you that link um, to actually get your full version, your full license. Um, the best way to do it is to go to my website, type in Genius. It's a hidden link and so you have to type it in order to get to it. It's only for people who have the infinity. If anyone um, completes it, their money will be refunded. So it's only for people who had gotten an infinity license before the 14th of August just because we're trying to keep integrity um, obviously with the program we just wanted to give it to our um, previous audience because we, we just really can consider this to be so much better and um, we really want you to be using the genius 100% of the time if it resonates for you. Uh, Martin says can you let Ryan put one in for um, alien implants. Uh, Martin, definitely you can email Ryan about that and I'll visit with him about it. That's, that's I mean, uh, you know, hey, I mean we probably need to do some more esoteric stuff because um, I mean that's the reality of stuff that's happening. So uh, we should we should be able to scan for it, right? There's, there are definitely different different things going on that are beyond our conscious comprehension. So. Norma says, I do not have access or client name or panels. I made up offline. I'm able to use the app, just have to enter date of birth picture offline, okay? 
Janie says, I used mine until the battery died in the car on the way home yesterday. I did three people. I did not try the library as I don't even know if I have anything in there. Patricia says, I, st I noticed that when starting with a person, there are lots of zeros. Please send Ryan that information. RW at quantumhealthapps.com. RW at quantumhealthapps.com. For Heartbeat, check out the Heart Math website, says Vinayak. So I don't know if there's an actual example of the heartbeat on there, but I do think, Vinayak, you've struck a really interesting chord in terms of I think it would be cool to use um, heart math before and after, like to do a, or to do a bioresonance session, a genius session, and then do some heart math and then check afterwards with how it's changed. That could be really cool. Um, I also do uh, want to mention that the Again, let, let me just jump into the navigation and we'll get to that multi-element phase. I want to remind you that when you go to frequency, shape, and form, that the best thing to do is to make sure that you've downloaded your, your program under enhanced layering technology. So make sure that every one of you have, all, have downloaded the enhanced layering technology. You need to download it when you first start using the program and then you'll have it, it'll be there. And I want you to put the, to use it up to 100%. It really changes the frequencies. Um, that's so funny, I'm dragging this back and forth, I have to do it here. So um, the reason is that there is a powerful binaural beat program which is catalyzed by doing this. Also, what I want you to do is I want you to get a splitter, and I'll show you that, which is something akin to what's called a Belkin rock star. And I want you to now use not only your geo wristbands, but it's really important more than ever to use the headphones. And I want you to go out, especially if you work with clients, and I want you to get the best headphones that you can buy. Maybe um, a Bose headphone, which they make a, a lower cost version, so maybe something under 100 bucks by Bose or someone that you like. Uh, the reason I want you to do that is because you're getting the benefit of the binaural beats. And why is that important? Because they are entraining the frequencies at a much faster pace than before. That means less time spent balancing. So when people have those headphones on, they're listening to binaural beats which are laid over their balancing and bioresonance frequencies, which means that they're, they're picking it up, they're magnetizing it, they're assimilating it faster than they ever have before. So if you have really good headphones, they're going to be receiving this at a much higher level. So they're going to be integrating all of that bioenergetic information that you want for them at a much faster and more efficient level. And just in general, the binaural beats that have been programmed in here lift the mood and they help to balance the brain, which is really important for any type of healing. So go splurge your money uh, for yourself or your clients and just go on Amazon or go to Best Buy and find the best headphones you feel comfortable investing in and it's going to change your entire experience of the program. It's so powerful. This is such a great program on so many levels. And Georgina says, so is the server information, personal libraries, voice shared at all? Just thinking of security. So um, no, it is not. And it has a 128 SSL encrypted security to keep your information, your information, which didn't exist before in the infinity. So Ryan has been very, very clear that there's client information on your particular device that you do not want on anyone else's device or anyone to have access to. So that information that you have on your device with your activation code and your password is all encrypted, Georgina. Thank you so much for um, asking about that. How about an alien implant customized panel? Actually, both Annette and Patricia said the same thing. And Patricia said, alien implants can be put on a customized panel. That's good. Nano particulates are very important to have access to. So you guys, um, I, I don't know, I'm not really on the same wavelength today, but you guys are communicating to me. I think go ahead and create an alien implant, uh, you know, customized panel for now, for right now. I think that that's a really important thing to do. 
And the other thing to do is um, go ahead and create a panel about um, toxic or chemical exposures that includes nanoparticulates. And then you're going to want to check each person for that, just like you would screen them for heavy metals or other substances. So good comments, everybody. And thanks for everybody who's joining me a bit past the hour. There's now a UK friendly time, so I'm going to give you that link in a momentarily. So if you know someone who lives in the UK or if you can't join me for Monday night, there now is a Tuesday morning call. Uh, let me just get the right link here. And it's going to be, it actually takes place every Tuesday morning. And so if you can't join me on Monday nights, it's, it's for our UK folks. You can join me on Tuesday morning at 9 o'clock Pacific, which is 5 o'clock UK time. Let me give you that. And we bring this all to you free um, for being part of the uh, Genius community, just like we did to support um, the Infinity users. So the reason I'm doing this is because the Genius is the ultimate upgrade. It is the ultimate program. So I'm dedicating all of my time and my live webinars to this program. So that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. Let's take a moment away from our questions to go into some of the features that we talked about discussing this evening. We talked about um, the synergistics. So let's get right to it. Let's talk about synergistics. If you go to your navigation, your navigation is always at the top right, represented by these three lines. Go ahead and tap on the navigation menu. You'll come down here and you'll see all of these options and you will choose extra modules. So I'm going to tap on extra modules and I see three choices, MEP, synergistics and response assessment. Go ahead and tap on synergistics. And it says, the, most the more complete the circle is, the more beneficial this item may be for the client. So I'm just going to choose, don't show this message again. So we use this um, to check in what we used to call biocompatibility. You can use a generic form of a remedy. You can use a specific brand name for a remedy. You can also use a dose, and that's what I've used synergistics for, is to compare three capsules to four capsules. And I, I use it to see if you get a more complete picture using one dose more than another. So often when I'm done testing, I use this as a way to hone in on the dose that I want. What you can say is um, vitamin C something that I should use. Let's just put vitamin C in here to start off with. <clears throat> Begin analysis. So now it starts comparing vitamin C to your energy field and it says in mind, body, energy field or spiritual, does this vitamin C resonate for this person? And here we're not getting a huge resonance. Of course it's a fictitious client. So um, you could then change it to um, Kamu, Kamu uh, powder. So you could try different things, right? And then you could just see if Kamu, Kamu powder, which has vitamin C in it, which, but which is a nat much more natural form, how does that, now can you do it again like this or do you actually have to go out and come back? No, it'll do it again. Okay, that's great. So is Kamu, Kamu any better? <clears throat> Let's see if it is. Wow. Oh my gosh. You guys, I hope you were watching that. Um, we do still have a very small circle up at mind, but everything was much more complete. So as an, what I want you to do in interpreting this is I don't want you to lie awake at night, but it said everything except the mind. What does that mean? Does that mean your mind will reject it? Does that mean your mind will be upset? I want you to think of synergistics as a global assessment and don't look at this at each particular one and obsess over one or the other. So look at it as an overall assessment. Does it overall appear to be beneficial for the client or for myself? Let's try one more thing just for comparison. Um, trying to think of, how about arginine? Really, really good for circulation. People who have high blood pressure or may have severe atherosclerosis, even um, congestive heart failure, arginine powder. 
maybe let's be sort of specific, let's say the form that they usually use, which is L-arginine powder, and begin the analysis. And let's see, I just wanted to experiment with a couple of different remedies just to see the differences. And again, the more full the circle is, the better resonance you're getting for that particular remedy. So again, that's actually what's really pretty good. Um, and then you could add a brand name in, I'm trying to think of um, what any particular brand that I can think of, but um, none is coming to mind. So let's try one more and let's make it brand specific. Let's see, Premier Research Labs. Oops. So you get the idea. Um, I also I often use it again to try to get the dose right for someone, and yeah, sort of like muscle testing in that sense. All right, there we go. So let's see if there's any resonance here. Interesting that, um, let's see what happens at the end. I don't think there's going to be a very high level of resonance. It's interesting because I think the quality of that product has really gone down. So that's fascinating that it says that. And um, let's just try one last one and I can take any of your suggestions as well. Um, let's just try in general uh, reishi Oh, my spelling today is so weird, uh, reishi powder. And you know, you can actually put in a name here if you want to, the name of a, a doctor, or you could put in um, the name of someone that you want to be in a relationship with, or someone you want to be in a business partnership with, or you can um, put in an action like going to yoga or going to Qigong. Okay, so that's a very strong resonance there. I'm a little curious if you guys are also getting very short resonances in the mind. I'm wondering if that's the algorithm because I haven't seen anything sort of strong for the mind. So if you guys have seen full circles with the mind, let me know. If you're seeing very short circles with the mind, let me know. So that is your um, synergistics. And let's go to response assessment. Response assessment is basically a recheck function. So in the body, the biofield, and the mind, um, rechecking these. Now, I'm not sure how we can, if anybody knows this, tell me how we actually recheck other parts of the program. I'm going to have to check with Ryan on that. So I may, it may also not be coming up because we haven't tested so many other things here. Um, so this should be reishi powder. And then what we do is we just begin analysis at the bottom and it says which one do we want us to compare it to? Let's do all of these. And does it make any of these better? So does reishi powder make the body, the biofield, or the mind any better? Let's see. Okay. So in this case, um, it looks like it takes the body a little bit out of balance, or I'd almost call this the same number. The biofield, it takes it out of balance, and then the mind, it brings it into balance. So it's sort of a mixed bag there, but it is a recheck function. I'm trying to remember how we actually get other elements in here. So if you guys know that, you can let me know that. But I think we want to bring other, th other things into the recheck. And I think that's the nature of actually testing more things. We've only checked the body, the biofield, and the mind here so far. I guess we can experiment with that and see what happens. So if we check here, let's see what happens. Okay, does the genius completely replace the infinity program? So what you can do, and that was from, from Pete. Hey, Pete, how you doing? It's good to have you on today. I know you're staying up a bit late there in the UK, so thanks for joining us. Um, the infinity is not a replacement. I mean, the genius is not a replacement for the infinity. You can keep using the infinity, and you're welcome to, but I consider it to be a replacement because 
there are so many things that make this a superior program that it will do everything the infinity does plus it'll do a full matrix scan plus it'll make the neuro remedy um, you know, plus it you know there are other features on there the encoded energy the alternating energy binaural beat technology with the sounds that are a lot sweeter and um, easier to listen to and integrate the energy at a lot much at a much faster pace so let's go back to that recheck function by um, selecting the menu going to extra modules and going to response assessment okay perfect okay now everything is actually there so um, let's just say doing Bikram, I know some of you guys don't like this, so put in your own type of yoga or qigong, doing Bikram yoga daily, okay? And then you want to check how is this affecting all of these things. Or saying a mantra daily, or you could put a different type of, um, you know, you could put something else in there. You could be another remedy. And, okay, so this is only bringing up the vitamins. Well, I don't know how it changed the vitamins, but you get the idea. Um, we just want to see how it rechecks it. So that is that has only brought in the vitamins because we were leaving there. We were going in there from, from the vitamins screen. So I want to do something a little different in just a minute. I think it's going to do the recheck from whatever screen we go in here with. So um, just to look at this about... You know, there's a lot, it's interesting, there are a lot of things that have improved. You'd say, like, how can yoga actually improve all of this stuff? But it may improve the absorption, the utilization of those vitamins. So, yes, it is possible. Plus, there's a lot happening on an energetic level. And we don't know all, you know, we don't know everything oops, about um, why we absorb vitamins. There's a lot of mystery or why we, why we have certain minerals. There's, there's a lot going on there. So, anyway. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to go from this screen into the response assessment and see if it pulls over all of those overall scores about all the different categories. So let me go to the extra modules. Let's go to response assessment. Yeah, that's really weird. I was hoping, so I need to talk to Ryan about this. What it would do is it would actually go from the body right here. What happens if now we scan on hormones? Let's see what happens. And let's see if it brings this into the recheck function. So we're going to have to find out what's going on here. All right, so we go back to our extra modules. We go to response assessment. And certainly now it is bringing in those hormones. So um, kind of good for the hormones overall can be that L-arginine. So let's just try that again. Very interesting amino acid, L-arginine for a lot of different things, but it can really help people who have um, severe um, atherosclerosis. So now we have to check the items. So let's see if it changes any of these hormones. And a lot of these are balanced, but these down at the bottom are not. So let's try these. All right, let's try those. Let's see what happens. If it changes them, we'll talk about the results. If we need headphones, does that help someone we are working on at a distance? Um, you could actually have them, if they're, if they're listening at a distance and you put the infinity, if you have the infinity like on a webinar, then um, have them listen through the headphones. So if they're on a webinar, the sound should translate. So if they're on a webinar or I would think on Skype, I don't know about a regular phone call, have them put on headphones. But they're not getting the binaural B technology, but they are getting all of the other um, technologies. Okay, so what this did, let me explain this, because the down arrows can be a little bit misleading. You have to look at the numbers specifically. Did L-arginine help follicle-stimulating hormone, which is often out of balance for women who are approaching or at menopause? Yes, it did. It went from 772 to 453. So this is a really amazing remedy for that person and it's known to um, sort of help with growth hormones helping hormones it can help people to use um, to have more energy to exercise it's an interesting amino acid 
It also helped to balance estrone, which again, when women are in menopause, their estrogen tends to get really, really high and then dip really, really low. So it's a dangerous time for women in terms of balancing their estrogen, and this helped to balance it big time, going from 729 to 339. The cortisol is a, I'm a little bit tricky there. This is almost like it stayed the same or got a little bit worse, so that's interesting. And then the leptin got way better. This is about your hunger, and so this is going to help to control hunger, which is an interesting use of it. Luteinizing hormone seemed to make it worse. But take everything with a grain of salt. You have to look at the overall effect. So don't get too much into the nitty gritty of each particular number. Look at it as, a, as an overall, did it have benefit? And lipotropin improved, serotonin definitely improved. This is severely out of balance and it brought it into balance. And, uh, and androstenedione is um, an androgen, and again, for women in menopause, this can be an issue, especially if they have blood sugar issues, and this brought it into balance. So that's really, really good. We didn't check off any of these other ones. What is the frequency range required for the headphones? I mean, really, any stereo headphones will do, Bambi, so it's not really about the frequency range, um, but I just suggest you want to get something with the best tone so that you can have that really, you know, or best sound, so you can have that really great experience. Okay, I do the genius balancing by rebounding, so um, can you, the quality headphones to wireless like Bluetooth? Oh yeah, definitely you can. In fact, they're making, that's a good question, Robert. I'm not a huge fan of the EMF effects of Bluetooth, but in this scenario, I don't think you're using them for that that long and of course they're making a lot more headphones that are exclusively Bluetooth that are wireless so yeah go for it I think that I think you should um, do a video of that and send it to us we'd love to see that how do you access customized panels with the genius okay that's uh, let's look at that um, <laughs> I got from Roger and Teresa it says how to do this SP I don't know what that means so Write that to me again. Okay, back to uh, Pete's question here. So we did synergistics, we did response assessment. Pete says, how do you access the customized panels with the Genius? So you go up to your navigation bar, you go to libraries, and you can see you have all of these libraries. You have to assign it to a particular client. So if I um, assign the Alzheimer's assessment, oh, that's not how we do it, we want to add to client, we actually do it here. So you can select all of them, and it's going to take a little while, and then it'll assign all the categories you have to that particular client, so you can test all of them. You have access to all of them when they come in. Is the panels I create on the Infinity app, and will they be synchronized to the Genius in the future? Not exactly, but Ryan did do something exciting, which is he put on here, is it under settings? Under settings, you now have import Dropbox database. So the way that this works is if you do something on your Infinity, now you can back that up to the Dropbox and you can import it in its updated version again and again. So if you create new panels on your Infinity, you want to port over to the Genius, you have to make sure that you back up that database on a regular basis to your um, Dropbox and then you can import all of those panels that you've created on your Infinity into the Genius. We were not able to do that before. It was only a one-time import, and Ryan has changed it. So it's not an automatic syncing, but it's a pretty, pretty good uh, facsimile, or um, you know, it's as good as we can get right now. With the synergistics, then, you don't need the rectangular app attachment from the old quantum infinity. Um, you didn't really need that for um, biocompatibility. You're talking about the import, are you talking about the imprinter? Just had 90% resonance in mind for reishi powder. Hey, thank you, Sherry. Thanks for letting me know. Okay, so it's just my testing here. But Bambi says too, she also got short mind results. Okay, good. Okay. Um, so is it a separate app? I don't know what that question means about which separate app. 
if I move the panels to the genius, then they are not in my infinity. No, they'll still be in your infinity. Absolutely, you can use both programs. How are you getting it to recheck at all? I get a box. I don't know what that means. If you only get one box, is that what you're talking about? You go to your um, extra modules, then you go to response assessment, and then you have to check off the boxes that you want. If you only get one box, you may have not done any testing yet. So if you have to at least do the first testing to get the three boxes, which is going to be body, mind, and biofield. Okay, to select, I don't know what that is. How can I have my panels on both the genus and the infinity? I answer that. Hi, I can hear you, but I can't see anything. Hey, Dr. Christopher, good to have you. Um, is anybody else not able to see the screen? Let me know. You may have to look um, to see if there is something minimized on your screen, and then you can maximize it. Is it compatible with the Quanta capsule? I'm almost positive Ryan has completed that. If not, it will be completed soon, and so yes, you'll be able to integrate with the capsule. Okay. All right, so... The imprinter. Oh yeah, you don't need the imprinter to do biocompatibility. Um, you can just type in the remedy, but good question. You don't need to use the imprinter anymore with the Genius. You can use, yeah, the imprinter is still available and actually all of that hardware, your EEG and your imprinter and your geos, they all work with the Genius, you guys. They all work with the Genius. Is there a way to give the remedies, to give the remedies hololinguistically? Yeah, you can do all of your remedies hololinguistically. When I try the brain EEG with the think gear, it crashes. So um, Eli, go ahead and send a message to Ryan about that. Still getting tossed out a lot as again just now. If anybody's having frequent crashes, then please um, just send a message to Ryan. So I want everybody to hear this really, really clearly. The 3D activation is not necessary for your program. And if you have not activated your 3D activation yet and you're not totally um, married to it, it's not super important to you, then what I would recommend is that you do not activate it. It's taking up so much memory that it's causing frequent crashes for people. So if you want, we could reactivate you without we could just delete the activation, reactivate it without the 3D, um, or just don't ever activate it, at least for the first few months. So it's not necessary. I do like it at times, but it's really not going to make that much of a difference in your testing at this juncture. So um, with the cloud, the downside of the cloud is it's a, it's, it takes up a lot of memory. So anyway, everything else in the program runs fine. If you're having frequent crashes, send them to Ryan, but they're usually because of the animation. So first of all, if you're running that animation, if you like the animation, then send Ryan a message and says, I love, I love the animation. If you don't love this animation that comes on, let me show you how to turn it off. So this animation is like the, basically the spine, right? The spine circulating from top to bottom. And you can turn it off if it's distracting with this button right here. It'll turn off the animation. And what I would suggest to you is that you turn off all the animations when they first come up. That also will cause less memory um, from being gobbled up. And so I would turn those off immediately. Also, if you don't find them helpful or if you find them distracting, I would send a message to Ryan and let him know that because I am basically in the camp that says let's just remove them from the program because they're taking up so much um, so much of the memory like the RAM um, of the of the program that it is, I think it's contributing to the crashing so if you don't find these animations necessary or helpful let Ryan know that they're not I mean I find that I just as soon as I scan something I just turn it right off so if I have an animation here for the testing I'm doing, I just turn that animation off almost always um, after testing. So anyway, so that's the deal. Is this in trying to find the meridians here? So yeah, I, t I tend to turn off this animation right away. 
like that one or this one. This one isn't as distracting. Okay. How do I check what version I'm using? Um, that is a very good question. It's probably... What should happen with the version that you're using is it should come up the very first time you use the Genius that day. So I'm not sure if I do that double tap and then I come back in here. On entry, I'm not sure if it comes up. Here we go. So it says Genius Insight version 1.9.1. .1. It'll say it when you first log in. Eli, good question. What do I need to do to the eliminate the 3D? Send me a message and we'll have to deactivate your program and then we'll send you a new activation key. The thing is you're going to have to delete it and re-download it. So if you don't want to do that, then don't. Then just live with the 3D for now. Do the customized panels appear any place for testing after checking in the library for the client. Do the customer panels appear in any place for testing after checking? Yeah, for sure. Latain, good question. So once you've assigned those libraries to that particular client, then every time that you test, you'll see the libraries come up as you can see them right here. So now when I test that client, you will see the libraries in here that I have selected for them. And I believe in this example, I did the Alzheimer's. So if you go in here and you go to libraries, you should now see those appear for that particular person. Let's see what comes up here. Oh, no, it's not testing. Okay, it's still importing them. I have a lot going on here because I have the webinar and I have the reflector and I have the genius going. So it takes a couple of seconds to um, get those imported. There's no way to treat a person more than once if you don't put them in your gallery photos. Is this true for everyone or am I doing something wrong? Yeah, you want to save that in your photos. Like in, you want to save that in your photos so that you can bring it up again because you have to rescan it. So it doesn't save the picture in the program from what I understand. Okay, this is just a, a speed of wireless issue, but it should come up here. So let's not spend a lot of time on there. But yeah, the, the libraries attach once you get in there. If we delete the patient, then you delete it and save it on your memory, right? I don't know what that means. My libraries never scan. I get the message it timed out. Um, it depends. Send me a uh, send Ryan an email about that, and that that shouldn't happen. But again, you could see how long it was taking me to bring those up there. So um, it just could be your internet speed. So I've you know this even just running the reflector and the webinar takes a lot of memory on from my wireless. So that's why. Where do we find the meridians? The meridians are in Biofield. So check in the bio field. Okay, I'm just trying to see if you guys have any more questions. Okay, let me tell you about a few other things that are going on in the community um, while we have the time here. I think I've just maxed out my wireless here. So um, let me just tell you about a few other things that are going on. On Tuesdays, Tuesdays is a call for people who have not gotten the program yet. So if anybody here has not gotten the program, you can join me on Tuesdays and I have some more information. I do actual live demonstrations at that time. And then on Wednesdays, if you're interested in selling the program, sharing it with other people and getting paid to do that, then I'll be talking about that on Wednesday. If you're in the UK, we now have a Tuesday call, um, 5 o'clock UK time, um, and I have some links for those. So if you want the links to all of those, then send me a message, ariel at awakentotalhealth.com. So I'm going to actually send some of those links right now to you in the last couple of minutes here. So if you have someone you want to refer, this is the link for that call. Or if you don't get it here in the chat box, then you can send me a message. So if you want to invite someone to learn about the genius, that's the link. 
And if you want to join us to become a sales associate and get paid between two and three hundred dollars a sale, um, with possibly more for the more that you um, more apps that you share with people. So join me on Wednesday to find out all about that. We train you for that about how to do that. And um, that's about it. You know, go ahead and send me your emails. This is uh, an interactive process. We want to make the genius better and better right now. It's pretty amazing. I know you guys have been enjoying it. So I'm here every Monday at this time, then Tuesday for the UK, and um, I'm here to answer your questions as well. Thanks, you guys, so much for your amazing, amazing questions today. Thank you for your great participation. I will be back next week. Have a great weekend, everyone, and thank you so much. Take care now and be well. Bye-bye for now.